Hi and welcome back to another NERPG tutorial. In this tutorial I will be demonstrating how to use a humanoid non-UMA mechanism character for your player character in NERPG. For this tutorial we will be using the Andan character which is a free character by Will B available on the Unity Asset Store. We will also be using NERPG version 0.10.1 alpha and Unity 2019.4.20 f1. Both of these links can be found at nerpg.org slash downloads. Once you have created your Unity 3D project and imported the package, you'll need to restart Unity once in order to get rid of the error messages, and after restart you should see a screen that looks like the following. The first thing we're going to do is create a new folder in the project in order to store the unit profiles that you'll need in order to actually use the units. So I'm just going to call this humanoid character. Next, we'll want to actually add the unit profiles to this. So first thing we're going to do is create a resources folder. This is the folder that Unity is going to look in automatically for all of the scriptable objects. And we want to find the default player unit, unit profile. And to make things simple, I'm just going to hit Control D to duplicate the entire unit profile folder. I'm going to pull that down into the resources folder. I'm just going to remove that one from the end of it. I'm going to delete the default UMA player unit out of that. And now I'm going to rename this to humanoid player unit. We'll want to change the name up here to humanoid. And everything else we can pretty much leave the same. We're going to open up the unit prefab props, and all you need to do to use any humanoid mechanism character that you want is to swap out the linked object in the model prefab. So let's go ahead and download the Andan character. I'm just going to hit open in Unity, and it should pop into my package here. And after a second, then we should see the Andan character selected. There it is, and I've already downloaded it, so I can just go ahead and click on Import, and then click Import again. The import happens pretty fast, and now all I have to do is click on this button right here. I'm going to type in Andan in the search box and choose the Andan prefab by double-clicking on it. Now that we have our unit profile set up, and the Andan prefab linked. I'm going to go into the core game to demonstrate how you make this player available on your screen. You can do this in your own game, but the wizards aren't available in this version yet, so it's just much quicker for me to show you how to do this with the core game. So we'll go into the core game scene. Then we'll click on the core game manager open up the character creator profile names drop down and where we have default player I'm just going to replace that with humanoid player and then save the project and move my game screen over to this monitor here and make sure we have maximize on play and then I can go ahead and click play Now we can click play and click on new game and as you can see Andan is available. He's got the stick in his hand. We could remove that if we wanted. Um, for now though I'm just going to leave that in. We can go ahead and click on start game. And you can see that we are now running around with Andan. He is our humanoid non-UMA mechanism character. 
Now, just for fun, I'm going to go engage in combat with him, so I'm just going to change my faction to red. And then I can go over to the spawn characters here, and I'm just going to spawn a blue boss. Since I am the opposite faction from him, he's going to start attacking me. Now, one thing to note, because this is a humanoid character, he's just going to have the standard punch animations and kick animations. He's not actually going to be swinging this stick, so it might look a little funny, but I will demonstrate in a future video how we can change that. So let's right-click on him, and you can see that Andan is now punching him. Andan is now getting blown up by the lasers, and he can properly kick and get knocked back and fly through the air, and eventually He's going to die because this is a blue boss who's way tougher than him. And there we go. Andan is now dead. So that's how easy it is to use a non-Uma humanoid mechanism character in your game. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe to the NERPG YouTube channel and leave a like or a comment on this video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time.